Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Habitat Fitness. Habitat Fitness. Today, I'm going to be showing you a quick warm up that I always do before my workouts uh, every morning or because I like to work out in the morning. So, I'm going to be showing you what I do uh, to warm myself up before my workout. Um, warm up is a very important part of every workout, it protects you from injury and uh, also it helps you get motivated uh, in case you know you feel too tired or too you know uh, too sore or whatever the excuse might be um, warming up will really get your blood pumping it will get your heart rate up and it will uh, raise your body temperature and it will uh, kind of you know it, a good sign of a good warm up is when you kind of you know just start breaking uh, a sweat uh, that's a sign of a, of a good warm-up. So uh, let's get to it and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, so while I get myself ready here, you should get yourself ready as well. So you stand tall, feet shoulder width apart, and uh, we're gonna be starting with five long deep breaths fill the belly and the lungs with air. So we're gonna raise our arms, on top, take a deep breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, that's two, and three, four, and five. Now we're going to be doing a, some neck stretches. We're going to be dropping our head slightly to the right. Feel a sl slight stretch in the left side of the neck, back to center, and go to the other side. Repeat one more time. So right side, and then left side. Feel a slight stretch. You don't need to overstrain your neck. You don't want to injure your neck. Next, we're going to be dropping our head forwards, back to center then backwards. One more time, forward, back to center, and backwards. And we're gonna be just do some head swings, left, right, left, right, slowly, and that's it. Now we're gonna clasp our hands with the palms facing outward, take a deep breath, and raise our arms up for a shoulder stretch. Now we're going to go down to the right side for a side stretch and then left side for the other side. Great. Feel the stretch in your sides in this one. Okay. Great. Shake it out. Now we're going to be going for some arm circles, starting with the right side backwards. Draw a circle with your arm straight, move from your shoulder backwards. And now switch to the front on the right arm, right arm straight, and five front circles. We're gonna be doing the same for the left side now. Back circles on the left side or on the left arm. And front circles with the right with the left arm straight. Good. Five times on the front as well. Time for some arm swings now. So with your arms dead on your sides, swing from your waist and right, left. And you're gonna slap yourself a bit with your arms, that's okay. This move is good for your spine and uh, it will give you a good ballistic stretch for your shoulders. Great, so shake it out. Time for some quad stretches. We're gonna start with our right quad, put all the weight in your left leg and raise your right leg and grab your ankle. You can use a table or a wall for some balance. You don't have to if you don't need to, but it's okay if you, don't, if you need to. And push with your hips for an extra stretch. And now time for the left side. Same thing, weight of your body on the right leg, push with your hips grabbing your left ankle feel the stretch great 
Now we're going to be doing some hamstring stretches. This move is a bit tricky, bear with me. So you're going to be bending your left knee slightly and then your right leg will be straight and on its heel and then slowly you bend down and try to stretch your hamstring. You'll feel the stretch in your hamstring and try to stretch your hamstring slightly. Feel the slight stretch. You don't need to uh, strain yourself. Uh, you can put, when you bend down, you can put your hands on your thigh or on your uh, uh, knee or on your ankle or you can touch the ground. It's all good. So the same thing for the left leg. Bend your right knee slightly and then go down for the stretch on the straight left leg on its heels. All right, doing great so far. Uh, next we're going to be doing some uh, leg swings. We're going to be starting with the right leg. So on that one you're going to be putting your all your weight on your left leg and swinging your right leg back and forth while supporting yourself on a wall or on a table or on a chair. Uh, on this one you're going to need the support. So please use a support for balance and then swing your leg back and forth 10 times. I think I started with the left and then the right, that's okay, but you get the idea. So with a wall for support and your weight on one of your legs and the other leg is swinging back and forth. Very good for the hip joint. Okay, the stretching part uh, of the warm up is done. Now it's time to get our heart rate up and we're going to start by doing 30 jumping jacks. Let's go. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20 to go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, last 10, come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to be jumping straight into the high knees, starting with our right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, go. We're going to be doing 30 of these with uh, a right and the left uh, high knee is one rep. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get your knees as high as possible. As you can see here, I'm a bit slacking. You shouldn't slack. The idea here is try to touch your palms facing downward with your knees. Make sure that your knees are going high. All right, we're almost over. There we go. And we're going to go straight into mountain climbers by the straight, starting with the right leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, keep going until 30. The idea here is to keep your arms straight uh, below your shoulders and trying to your best, try your best to touch your knees, touch your elbows with your knees. And almost there, guys. All right, keep going, keep going, and done. Excellent. So now we're going to be lubricating our joints with 10 squats and 10 push-ups. We're going to start with the squats, legs shoulder width apart, and one, two, back straight. Your hips don't need to go below your knees like I'm doing here. This is ass to the grass, as they call it. You don't need to do that. Do as much as you feel comfortable doing. And we're going to go for the 10 push-ups. Lubricate those elbow joints and shoulders. One, two, three, four, good, five. You can do the push-ups on your knees if you uh, feel that doing 10 full push-ups is too much for you. That's totally fine. And last one, all done. Good job, guys. Whew. 
that was good. As you can see, I'm out, a bit out of breath. That's check. I feel much warmer now than I felt before the warm up. I start to break a sweat. I don't know if it shows here. So that's good. So the warm up did its purpose. Heart rate up, body temperature up. I feel much more energized and much more motivated to continue my workout and my joints most importantly also my joints are uh, lubricated so I prevent uh, injury during my uh, serious workout so I hope you enjoyed this warm-up uh, you can use this warm-up for any before any kind of exercise or workout session or if you're playing soccer or basketball whatever sport you like so I hope you enjoyed it please like uh, if you like the video and subscribe for more videos and see you next time I'm gonna go finish my workout peace <laughs>